I was hanging out online with a friend of mine, Derek, a few weeks ago, and we were talking about rockabilly chords, and I said, Derek, do you know the 6-9 chord? Some bad jokes were made, not going to get into them. You can use your imagination. And in the end, it turned out Derek knew the chord, just not by that name. Conversation kind of went like this. I said, Derek, you have to know that 6-9 chord. He said, well, I might know it. Play it, damn it. So I played it. He said, oh, but I have to know that chord, do I? I said, yeah, you have to know that chord. He said, is this the chord you're talking about? And he went like this. And when he kind of shoved the guitar forward like that, we sort of both burst out laughing, hence the term, the up yours chord. So the technical term for it is the 6-9 chord, but I like up yours. So today I'm going to show you how to apply this chord and make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to double your money on that chord. Actually, that one chord can be two chords so you definitely want to make sure you see that because that's really useful so we're going to do this in the key of a i did the intro in e because i wanted that really dramatic slide and the chord itself actually looks like this so if we're going to play an a69 what we do is we take this chord so i'm going to play it from the fourth fret of the fourth string i'm going to bar so i get the fourth fret on the third string so it's an f sharp and a b and then i'm going to use my third finger to play the second string and the first string at the fifth fret this is the 6-9 chord shape. We don't have to play any notes lower down. I will today for the sake of demonstration. But this works, especially if you're playing with a band, that works totally fine. Even if not, it, your ears will catch on. Now, of course, you can play this chord using your second finger instead, but you don't get to flip your audience off subtly. Now, how do we know what kind of up yours chord we're playing? Well, what we do is we look at the third finger and we line that up with the root note on the sixth string. So if I put my second finger on the A here, we can kind of see that that's the basis of our chord. So this is an A69, whatever your third finger lines up with on the sixth string, okay, that's the type of chord it is. So that's an A69, B flat 69, B69, C69, etc. You get the idea. Now, if for example, if we wanted to play a typical rockabilly blues like A, D, and E, it would go something like this. chord and then our one chord okay this one lining up with D here you can see my thumbs sneaking over the top and this one lining up with E there okay so whatever that finger on the higher notes there lines up with that's your root note from the sixth string let me give you an example Now, if you want to get really cool with this, you can slide it around a little bit and you get that jump blues kind of vibe. Brian Setzer does this a lot. A lot of those guys did. It sounds really cool. So as I mentioned, I'm going to double your money on these chords. The good news is they can also be working off the root note on the fifth string. So what I mean by that is, see my third finger it lines up with the 5th fret. So if we go to the 5th fret on the 5th string, that's a D. These notes are also relevant enough to a D that they're also a 6-9 chord, which is really quite crazy. And the reason for that is, when we played it as an A, we had the 6th degree here, the 9th degree here, 5th degree in root note. But when we do it as a D, for example, the F sharp is the 3rd of a D, the B is a 6th of a D, Okay, the E is the 9, and the A is the 5. So it's a perfectly good D6-9, and it's also a perfectly good A6-9. Isn't it crazy? Now I'll show you how to use this root 5 version. I'll do a progression on it, but I just quickly want to mention, if you hear those that terminology, the whole 6th chord, 3rd degree, all that kind of stuff, and you want to know more about that, you have to check out my course on Adrian White Online. I teach you all about those numbers and what they mean and how they're relevant to the major scale and the fretboard. Now, how do we play that as a progression? Well, let's do the same chords. We're going to do the A blues again, or the A rockabilly blues, or jump blues, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to use the chords as their, their second option. So we're going to take A here at the 12th fret, and we're going to play this from A. I'll hit the fifth string. Now I'm going to bring this down to what we were using as A before, but we're actually going to hear it as a D. Okay? You can even throw the note in there if you want. Then we're going to take it up to here, which you might have thought would be a B69 because we would line up with the 6th string, but when we use it as our 5th string option, we're getting an E69. Then we're back to A. So 1 chord, 4 chord, 5 chord, 1 chord. 
And just a word of warning, if you do use this cord, just make sure that guy that rocks up to gigs stands at the back, doesn't really talk to anyone, no one knows if he's crazy or not. Just make sure he doesn't get offended. Just explain it's it's just a side effect of playing that chord. That's it, folks. I'll see you in the next video. But before I go, I will thank my latest Patreon, Scott Frazier, Cheng Yu Chi, Kelly Richard, Stanley, Morgan, Delamore, and Steve. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'll see you in the next one.